Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. Now that we've got our first Pokemon, Fucoco, and we fought our first battle, let's try and learn a few more things about the Pokemon world. Since we've only got one Pokemon, we have to learn how to get more. Oh, Jeremy, I hear that Nimona here will be taking you to school. That's right, ma'am. Leave it to me. So you've already managed to so you've already managed to f find a friend. Not sorry, <laughs> so so, it's fine. And I read about all the wonderful, all the wonderful teachers you'll be have you have looking after you at the school. Plus, so many handy f uh, facilities you can have. Can I can't read for some reason. You can ha use as much as you like. Add in your new friend, Nimona, and it sounds like your school life will is shaping up to be fantastic. Now, you'll be staying in the school dorms, so I want you to promise me you'll eat proper meals. Here's a bit of spending money to start off with. Start off with. I also packed a lunch for your first day. You obtained the sandwich! From mum! It's got an exclamation mark, so it must be exciting. You put the sandwich from mum in your bag's key items pocket. Sandwich. A dish made by sandwiching vegetables, meat, or other ingredients between two slices of bread. It makes a fantastic meal when out on a picnic. Why does it explain that? It's fine. This is the first sandwich ever to be seen by the eyes of humankind. Oh, and maybe you'd better take these two. Got five potions. We have so many potions. How difficult is this game? Put the potions in your bag's medicines pocket. Use them on that pre precious little partner of yours. It should get hurt in. It should get hurt. Get hurt in battle. I know every day in your life is going to be full of exciting experiences far from home. Just try to savor them all, the good times and the hard times too. But if you ever want to come back home, you know your bed is always ready for you. Oh, all right then. You two had better be off, I suppose. Take care on the way to school. Nod. Yes. Your mother's so nice, Jeremy. Oh, but I was going to teach you how to catch your wild Pokemon. Come on, vamos. This way. Well, we're already getting left behind, so I guess I'll just stand here. There we go. <laughs> also, if I think we check our, our stuff by pressing X, we can see Fukoko is actually fully healed again for some reason. So I guess that happened. Because, because of this, I guess. Auto heal. The auto heal feature will automatically select items from your bag and use them to heal your Pokemon. To use auto heal, highlight the Pokemon you want to heal from the main menu. Press the minus button. Auto heal will use items in the following order. Potions, fresh waters, soda pops, super potions, lemonades, moo moo milks, and then hyper potions. So I guess that wasn't exactly what it was, but I, I think you will get automatically fully healed after the first fight, but anyway. Let's go back for now, but we can check our Pokemon from the menu, so that's 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 all we need to know, really. What does this say? I will well, never know. Also, hang on, is that written in? Is that written in unknowns? I don't know. I don't think so. It's written in something. All right, this here is Poker Path. It's the path that leads to your to adventure for you and me. Out here, things are different than in town. You're gonna see wild Pokemon out and about. They'll be on the path and in the grass and such. 
Get too close to one and you'll have to battle. But you've got Fukoko for that, right? And if you want to try and try to catch a Pokemon, you gotta use a good old Pokeball. I've got tons. Have a few. Wow, I've got so many things. Got five more Pokeballs. Put your poke put the Pokeballs in your bag's Pokeballs pocket. Oh, what luck! Time for some learning by doing. Try battling this Lechonk, Jeremy. Lechonk. Here we go. Catching Pokemon. You can try to catch a wild Pokemon you are battling by pressing the X, bu bu X button and throwing a Pokeball. When you are having a hard time catching a Pokemon, try to deal damage uh, to it before throwing another Pokeball. That should give you a better chance of a success. Blah. Success. Too much S. So basically, the lower the health of the Pokemon, the higher chance we have of catching it. So let's try and use Tackle on it. Okay. Use Tail Whip, which is going to lower our defense. I think Lear does the same thing, but we can check the move info for that by pressing Y. Has accuracy of 100, so it will always hit, basically, unless we have something that stops us from doing that. Lowers our ac accuracy. The user gives the opposing Pokémon an imitating Leer that lowers this defense stat. Yes, yeah, so we can actually check the stats like this. And we can see the power it also does as well. Which you can see is 40 for both of these moves. I think the icon on the category thing shows you what type of thing it does. So I think... I don't know what that icon is actually meaning exactly, but it's kind of... Neutral? And it doesn't really do any damage anyway. But that's a physical move, tackle, obviously. And this is a special move because we're not actually coming into contact with them. We're actually using our element to get them, if that makes sense. But anyway, I think I'm going to use Tackle again. Okay, I don't think I can do any more than that without taking it down too, too much. Also, it's interesting we can even just press X to use a Pokeball. So let's do that, and then A. Use the Pokeball. Let's see if we'll catch. One, two, three, and caught. Gotcha! Lechonk was caught. Lechonk. And we also get XP from get catching a Pokemon, which is not a thing that I'm used to. Lechonk's data has been added to the Pokedex. So now we can actually see in the Pokedex all the extra info for Lechonk. It has a description, it has the height and weight as well as the type that it is. This is the 10th Pokemon in the Pokedex, but there are many more to catch. Lechonk has been added to your party as well. So now we can also battle with Lechonk. Oh, that's a cool way to register Pokemon in the po Pokedex. They each have a book. Or something. Hala! That was awesome. You caught the very first Pokemon you went for. I'm crummy when it comes to actually catching Pokemon, maybe you should give me tips. Anyway, have some more Pokeballs, just in case. Not every catch works out. I have so many items. You cannot stop me. You put the Pokeballs in your- yep, I, I know. Weaken the Pokemon, then throw up the Pokeball. Remember that, and you'll be fine. Now, go battle those wild Pokemon and catch some of them. Let's meet back up at the lighthouse over there. You can see our school from the top. The Pokemon you see wandering around in the tall grass, or caves, and anywhere else are wild Pokemon. When you run into a wild Pokemon, a Pokemon battle will begin. You can also start a battle by looking toward a Pokemon, a wild Pokemon, and throwing one of your Pokeballs at it by using the ZR button. Try this tactic to try it. Uh, now to battle Pokemon that are up in trees or flying in the sky. That's cool. So I guess we can get started on this then. I'm assuming if I not hold the control stick all the way, I can actually slow down, but... Oh, that's how that works. Interesting. Let me recall you back. 
I don't know how to aim this. I was, I was expecting to hold down the button and aim, but I guess not. Another potion. There are so many items, it's crazy. Perfect throw, I guess. I think it probably homes in. Uh, Totaro... Totoron? Tula. I'm gonna... I'm gonna mess up Pokemon names a lot, so don't worry about that. I think po Yeah. This Ember can also inflict the target with Burn, which will lo like, like, do damage over time. So we probably don't want to do that when trying to catch a Pokemon. But you can, but... Yeah. It probably doesn't matter at the moment, since we're just... We're early game. We can get experience and level up and all that. Speed harshly fell. That's okay. I do like how quick this is. At the moment. Let's use a Pokeball. We have 16. Let's see if we'll catch this. I'm probably going to try and catch every Pokemon I see. If possible. There we go. Tarantula was caught. Nice. Fukuko learned the po Pokemon move. <laughs> I think it was round. Let's register to the Pokedex. Don't know, I don't want to give it a nickname. And there we go. Now, I think if we go to our... Uh, like a menu here, main menu. We can also select a Pokemon and change its position. So we could actually put the chunk in the front here. Or we could just make lead Pokemon, I think, by pressing Y on any Pokemon that we have highlighted. And that'll set the Pokemon we start a battle with. Very important to know this. Because then we can start a battle like this. And now we get to battle with Lechonk as well. Also, I like that I can move the camera during the battle. That's really cool. Oh yeah, we have some new moves to work with here. Tackle, which we've already seen. And Tail Whip, which we've seen being used against us, so... We also have the number on the... Each move that shows you how much you can use that move. And I think... I don't know if that goes up. I, I think that will only be recovered later on. So we have to be careful how much we use moves right now, probably. Wild Lechonk used Tackle. Lechonk used Tackle. It's also higher level than us, I think. So we're probably not going to win this fight. We could be using Tail Whip like it. Or whatever the move is to lower their defense. To give me a high chance of winning the battle. But I... I think I'm just going to use Tackle and Hope, because they can use Tail Whip a lot and then not actually do any damage to me, because I have to actually use a move that will actually fight me. So I might be alright to just Tackle and hopefully win. Maybe. Just by playing slightly smarter. Maybe. Just using a different strategy, really. Come on. One more. Nope, the Wild Lechonk used Tackle, but we're all alright with holding on barely. And we won. I mean, we can also switch Pokemon during the battle as well, so... Got some Lechonk here. That's interesting. Gonna switch Fukuoka back into the lead, because that's the one that's strongest. Another Pokeball. Let's fight you. Since we've already caught one of these, I'm just gonna fight it, so... Just gonna take it out. Got round. User attacks the target with a song. If others use this move, they will act immediately after the initial user. And the power of their rounds will be boosted. Does more damage than just any other move. We can only use it 15 times, though. But let's just do that, I guess. Very nice. I'm probably just going to finish this off with a tackle. Since it probably doesn't have that much left. And there we go. We can see our own health points left. In terms of numbers, specifically. But the opponents that we fight won't display their health like that, so... Need to keep that in mind. I'm falling. Gotta be careful here. How I play this. Also, I want one of you. Have to catch all the Pokemon. Hop, hop it. It's a classic Pokemon. I think it's a grass flying. Can't remember. Let's just use Tackle for this. It's not that leveled. Don't want to do, do too much damage. OK. 
Okay. Now let's throw a Pokeball. Nice. Haven't, haven't failed a throw yet, so... Because the catch rate of these Pokemon aren't very low, so... Yeah, it is Grass Flying. I'd remembered. No, I don't want to give it a nickname. But there we go. So many Pokemon. Let's grab some of these items as well while we're here. Oh, a Fledgling. I'll take you. I'm surprised I actually know some of the Pokemon names. Okay, very nice. Fletchling use Peck, which is a flying type move, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. I think it's just a flying type Pokemon. It feels like it should be like a flying fire Pokemon, but I think it's just flying. Normal flying, maybe. Fletchling is caught. The trunk learned disarming voice. Yeah, it's normal flying. I, I actually know some Pokemon stuff. I'm surprised. But there we go. Add that to our party. Don't need to heal yet, just yet. I'm probably not going to be keeping all these Pokemon that I'm collecting in this in this route. But it's good to just have them. Also, I can slide. What was that about? Oh, I see you. I can't remember what you're called, but I, I, I've seen you before, I think. Come on, please. Throw. Good. There we go. A scatterbug. That would make sense. Uh, I'm actually tempted to use round for this. We only have half our health left, so we probably want to actually do more damage in each fight to have a slightly high chance of surviving longer. Although I do have potions to heal if I need to, so... Now, do I just do one more tackle and then Pokeball, probably? Just make sure I have a high chance of catching. It was still in the yellow, so I want it to be in the red, probably. Just to have all the chances. That was quite the aggressive throw. Wow. Scatterbug was caught. Well, it's a bug-type Pokemon. Yep. And I still don't know what the effectiveness of each Pokemon type is for some reason. Despite having played several Pokemon games before. <laughs> it's fine. I should know these things, but... It's hard to remember everything except for the basic Pokemon types, basically. Let's grab this, although I... Probably don't want to fight that, maybe? It's fine. Oh, he's coming to get me. Let me actually probably heal my Pokemon. Just gonna auto heal. Pukoko. Because you can just select which one you want to use. I'll fight you. Why not? You're right there. You're angry. Let's go Ember. And that was pretty good. Let's use a tackle to finish it off. Nice. Hop-Hip leveled up. Hop-Hip learned Tail Whip. I really don't know what I want for my team. There's so many Pokemon that I've never seen before in this game, so I... Anything could happen, really. Oh, hello. Another Scatterbug. Just going to ignore them, I guess. Don't have to fight everything. Grab that, please. Paralyzed Heal. For healing par Paralyzed Pokemon. And a Chester Berry. Pokemon holding that will be out of something. <laughs> Let me actually check my bag. I also have a revive, which we can use to revive a fainted Pokemon when its health is all the way gone. And it restores half of a Pokemon's max HP. Uh, Paralyzed Heal. Spray type medicine that for treating par paralysis. It can be used to free a Pokemon that has been paralyzed, which is a status effect. It's important to know that. And how do I... Oh, it's just going 
across pages. I feel like I should be using left and right to be switching pages. If a Pokemon holds one of these berries, it will be able to wake itself from sleep, which is another status effect. And if I go back to Antidote, Poison is also another status effect. Let's grab this. Another Revive, that's pretty good. I wouldn't expect to see Revives this early in the game. What's that? Another Pokemon. What Pokemon is that? Oh, is that the one that the... Is that the good one? That's the cool one. It's very tiny, though. Why is it so tiny? A poor me. Let's use round. Okay. Poor me use ground, which is going to lower our attack. Let's use tackle. Seems pretty good. Poor me use scratch. And let's catch it. Very nice. Pormi was caught. I don't know what this typing is because I've never seen this Pokemon before. Never before seen. We got some Pormi fur as well. It's an electric type Pokemon. Interesting. Well, that would make sense. Oh, added to my party because I had too many Pokemon. You can only hold six Pokemon in your party. Let's get rid of Scatterbug for now. I don't know if I, what Pokemon I'm going to be using at the moment, but yeah. And we have six Pokemon in your party at once. Any other Pokemon will be sent to your Pokemon boxes for safekeeping for, from the main menu. You can select your boxes to open them up. From there, choose Pokemon to swap in and out of your current team. Can we just do that at any time? I think we can. Which would be interesting, especially if we could actually have entire teams saved. I don't know if that's a thing. But I think we only have eight boxes to store Pokemon in. Yeah. That's a shame. That's a real shame. We might unlock more, I think, possibly. Or possibly Nintendo just wants you to pay money for... Pokemon Home, basically. Let's move this out of here for now. I don't think I'm going to keep that. Probably. I don't know what these evolve into, to be honest. I'm just going to get rid of Fletchling. I know what Fletchling evolves into. I don't know what the other three evolve into. Or that one. And I think Hoppip I've seen before. Previously. That one's alright, I guess. It's been around for a while. Speaking of which, it's just floating there. A wild one, that is. Another revive! I... I've not... I would not expect to see this many this early. But it's fine. I will take it. Um... I think we're good for the moment. Just leave those there. I'm not sure how much I want to level up right now, because I, I have no idea. It's not been a normal thing to just be able to see the Pokemon. For me, I've not played a Pokemon game where you can see the Pokemon. It's always been random encounters that I'm used to. So I'm not sure how much I should be fighting Pokemon, basically. Hey Jeremy, you're, you're getting the hang of how to catch Pokemon, okay? Yes, I am. Let's see, so far you've caught... Whoa, what was that? I've never heard that cry kind of cry before. Could be some kind of strong Pokemon or something. I say we find whatever made that cry. Let's take a look around, Jeremy. Just be careful. There's a kind of unsafe cave not far from here. So steer clear. And I know your Rotom phone can keep you safe, but watch your step by these cliffs anyway. Okay. That's interesting. So I saw something in the distance just now. I don't know what that was. And I think we also got a few other items that I want to quickly check. I got an ether. Medicine that can restore 10 PP to a single move that a Pokemon knows. So PP is referring to power points, which is... If I go to a Pokemon and check the summary. Is the amount of times we can use a Pokemon move. So we have... 25 out of 35 for tackle. So if we use the ether, we can actually restore that to 35 again. By adding 10 to it, so. That's just how it goes. But we're probably going to just leave that for the moment, because I assume there's a way to just heal our Pokemon and also... Restore 
all of the power points so we can use them again without having to use up our items. I mean, we're getting a lot of items right as you can see, but I'd like I'd like to kind of hold some stuff later. Also, that looks like a special thing because that's a different kind of beacon coming out of something. Also, what happens if I just throw my Pokemon out? Because I feel like it can wander around and maybe it will get into a fight or something. I'm not entirely sure. Let me, let me throw you at this. Nope, cool. 